Welcome back to Photoshop for Photographers. And today we're gonna to take a look at how to create a luminance mask and the if then slider to control adjustments inside of Photoshop. The first thing I'm gonna do here is we have this nice photo and we have this kind of light kind of screaming in here. And now we have two options. So we can come in here and make a curves adjustment and I can increase that contrast a little bit and I can increase my highlights a little bit and that looks good. Now the problem with this adjustment curve, it's affecting the whole image. What if I just want it to affect either the shadows or the highlights? So the shadows or the highlights, how can we do that? The first thing I'm gonna show you is how to make a luminance mask. And I have to say of the two methods, this is by far my favorite. A luminance mask is going to change this mask. Now notice right now we just have a pure white mask, meaning that this adjustment is being applied to this whole image. What we're gonna do is go up here to image and then drop down to apply image. When you are inside of apply image, you wanna make sure your layer is merged and all of this stuff is what is by default inside apply image. So most likely you're not gonna to have to change anything. So you want merged, multiply, and then the one thing you're gonna change is invert. Invert is gonna change whether the mask is applied to more of the shadows or the highlights by turning the thing on or off. So right now we're applying this more to the shadows and if I click invert off, it's applying more to the highlight areas. So I'm gonna go ahead and click invert off and click on that. And then as you come down here and now notice our mask has changed. I'm gonna show you this mask and I'm gonna hold down my alt option and I'm gonna click on the mask and you can see it looks just like a black and white photo, but it's truly a mask. What's great about this type of mask, it's a full tonal scale black and white of your image. And basically when you were switching or invert and you can do this here, you can either apply it here or here. So remember, white is showing, so white is showing, it's applying more to the highlights. If I hit invert, it's gonna make that black, so now it's applying more to the shadow areas. If we come out here and we turn this off, I can turn this on and off, and you can see that right now we are applying this to the shadow areas of the image where I've increased the contrast. Or if I hit Command I, now, if I turn it on and off, we're affecting more of the highlight side. Now this doesn't mean that it's just affecting the highlights. You can see it's affecting everywhere, but it's affecting the highlights more because that's totally white than the dark shadows where it's not affecting those at all. Now, what's really cool is just because you have this, remember it's still a mask. I'm gonna hit Command M, which is curves, and you could use levels, curves, whatever you wanted. I can actually go in here and change this mask. I can darken this mask and say, hey, I wanna change the way the mask looks. And because I changed the way the mask looks, it's going to change the way the adjustment curve works. So now it's affecting this completely different. And in this case, I don't actually want it to brighten this area up here. I want it to brighten this area up here. What I can do is something really simple. I can just get a brush, make sure my brush is nice and soft and I can just paint black up into this area. So if we come in here, you can see this is now black up here and now we're not applying that. So when I turn this on and off, that area is not changing, but it's just affecting this one little area. It's a really great way when you have kind of scattered light in an image to kind of apply it to a very specific area. And I will just make another curves adjustment and we're just gonna affect just the highlights a little bit in this. And so we're good. And we've done basically the same type of adjustment. This time, what you wanna do is in your layer, you wanna go out here to where it's just gray, there's nothing out here. And you're gonna double click, not right click, double click. 
And that's gonna bring up layer style. Inside of layer, we have something called blend if. Now we only have one layer in this image if there's not multiple images. If we had two different images on top of each other, and we'll get into that, you have an underlying layer in this layer. But in this case, we're just gonna have just this layer. So we have these little sliders right here. These sliders are what's called blend if. As I slide this, it's changing how this adjustment is affecting this image. In this case, we're saying, hey, we don't want it in the highlights, but we do want it in the midtones and the shadows. So right here in the grayscale is where it's gonna start that adjustment. If I wanna do the opposite, I can come out here and say, oh, I don't want you to affect the shadows, but in the midtones and highlights, I want that to work. Now, the problem with you sliding just this main slider is it's a pretty abrupt adjustment. So what you can do is hold that Alt option and you can split these apart. And as you split these apart, it becomes a smoother adjustment. So right now, if I say, okay, now this isn't really affecting the highlights as much as it is my shadow area. I can come back out here, double click this, go into the layer mask, and I can do any combination of this. So I can do this. So you can come out here, I can hold that Alt option, I can split these apart, I'm saying this now, I'm saying, hey, basically my dark grays to my light grays, I want you to affect this area, but where it's really bright, I don't want you to touch it, and where it's really dark, I don't want you to touch it. So that is blend if, so when we come in here, we can see we can change the way the adjustment is applied to the image without actually painting into the mask. Now. What's even cooler is we can do basically a combination of both. So we can come in here and we'll do, go ahead and do this on a completely different image. We'll come in here to this image. We're gonna adjust the shadow area. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna brighten up my shadows just a little bit. For some reason, we'll say we wanna adjust those and we've made that adjustment curve. So I'm gonna come up to image, drop down to apply image. It's merged and multiply, which is important. And then we're changing this. So right now it's affecting more of my shadow areas. Now it's my highlights, but I want shadow areas. So we're gonna go, okay, that looks good. Right here we can see this is our luminance mask and where it's white, it's applying the adjustment and where it's dark, it's not applying that adjustment. So we'll click that off. I can come out here and double click and I can control that even more. So I can say, hey, I'm gonna hold Alt Option, I'm gonna split this. I'm gonna say I don't want this in the really, really dark areas. And I don't want you to touch my mid, my highlight areas. I just wanna stay in the kind of dark grays to light grays, and then I'll go ahead and hit OK. And now this adjustment is only affecting those very specific areas. And I can come in here and take this opacity slider and slide this up and down and apply various amounts of this adjustment. If you have an adjustment and you made this, but it's a little bit too much, you can reduce that adjustment opacity. And now it's only gonna be doing 85% of this adjustment there. And I can turn this on and off and we'll say, okay, that looks good. We'll come in here one more time. I will try to just increase the contrast of the highlights of this image. So we're gonna come in here, we're gonna open up those highlights a little bit. So we'll go up here to image, down to apply image, and we want merged and multiply. And then it's just a matter of ticking this or not ticking this. We want this to be applied to the highlights. So we want that unticked in this case. So we can see down here, it's applying it just to the highlight areas, but not the shadow areas, which is exactly what we want. Hopefully that's been helpful. You learned a little bit about luminance mask and the if then slider inside of Adobe Photoshop.